Hi and welcome to this video on how to use the stochastic RSI oscillator. Today I'll walk you through how this indicator is constructed and how to interpret its signals and understanding its limitations. So the stochastic RSI was created by Tushar Chande and Stanley Kroll and introduced in the 1994 book The New Technical Trader. I mention this because it's important for you to understand the reasoning behind why they built this indicator. Now as technical traders, I'm sure you use the RSI, which is by far the most widely used oscillator. You would have noticed that the RSI has a tendency to move slowly and hang between the extreme overbought, oversold conditions for long periods of time, giving neither buy nor sell signals. Which means as a trader, you're stuck on the sidelines. So Kroll and Chandi decided to speed things up a bit. And how did they do that? They took the stochastic oscillator which looks at where the current closing price is relative to the high and low of the defined period and replaced price with RSI and compared with the highest RSI and lowest RSI for the defined period to create the stock RSI. The resulting indicator like the RSI fluctuates between 0 and 100. Originally the fl fluctuation was between 0 and 1 but most modern technical analysis apps convert it to 0 and 100 for easier interpretation. Like most other indicators, traders can adjust the stochastic RSI settings to suit their own strategy. We have the RSI period, which uses the number of RSI periods uh, for the stochastic calculation. The default is 14. Uh, the stochastic period, which is the number of first time periods used in the stochastic calculation. Again, 14 is the default. The percentage K period, which uh, kind of smooths the stochastic period with a simple moving average. Uh, a value of 1 maintains the stochastic period, but uh, the default has been set to 3 to give it a smoothening effect. Percentage D period, a moving average of percentage K. Again, the default is 3. This is commonly referred to as a slow stochastic. If you want to change things around with the parameters, you would primarily change the stochastic period and percentage K period. If you think the script you're trading is extremely volatile, increasing these values can smoothen the oscillator for you. Do try this out and see which of these parameters has a bigger smoothening impact. Now how do you interpret the signals in the stochastic RSI? We can look at three possible scenarios to use this indicator. Firstly, overbought and oversold conditions. The stock RSI, like most oscillators, has overbought and oversold conditions defined by 80 and 20 levels. The middle line of 50 is also significant for traders as I'll show you later in this video. It is important to look for oversold conditions when the bigger trend is up and overbought conditions when the bigger trend is down. In other words, look for trades in the direction of the bigger trend and use the stochastic RSI as a short term indicator. You can also look at percentage K crossing above percentage D for buy signals and percentages K crossing below percentage D for sell signals. But my personal view is that the strategy will only lead to losing positions being as this being a lagging indicator. This typical method will not work on this. Second end can be used to identify the continuation of a trend. As a bound oscillator, the center line is at 50. Stock RSI reflects an uptrend when consistently above 50 and a downtrend when consistently below 50. So look for trends where in an uptrend the stock RSI falls to the 50 levels and consistently finds support before moving up. This is the sign the trend is very strong. Third, we can look for positive and negative divergences. I won't get into it here as I'll be addressing divergences in a separate video. Coming to the limitations the stock RSI. Sometimes your greatest strength can become your greatest weakness too. So in this case here the stock RSI is like RSI on steroids. RSI produces relatively few signals and stock RSI dramatically increases the signal count. But this also means that there will be more overbought, more oversold readings, more centerline crosses, more good signals but more bad signals as well. Speed comes at a price. But its ability to spot short-term extremes in RSI is its greatest advantage and also one of the reasons it has become such a popular indicator with traders. 
So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more on Market Vidya. Thank you.